Uh, we're just talking about the history of Lansdowne. Bobby's from this neighborhood. How are you? Bobby, pleasure to meet you. It was just woods here. Just woods. When, uh, I believe it was Henry Knott built this development, this was a staging area. They just left. It was just, that's how it got the name Sandy Hill. It was a pit. We don't know when it was finished because there's no, do there's no documented history of it opening because it never opened. We know that at this time in 1978, that a majority of the concrete construction was done. From what I understand, I mean, it's not like it's, it's kind of word of mouth, not documented, but it was, uh, this was built by not a skate park construction company. This was built by a, a concrete construction company. There was a building right here, about where the bathrooms are, and some idiot in the neighborhood decided to blow up. After they blew the building up, the county just wiped their hands on it. So it just kind of laid dormant for a while until people found it. Let me tell you, for, over, for years after the county abandoned it, and the county did abandon it, right. the only p people that took care of this place were the skaters. Yeah. They knew when you come in at Lans to Lansdowne, you bring a broom and a shovel. The thing about Lansdowne is there's been a kind of a, a the history word of mouth. You couldn't actually come in up the road. That was the main way in. Right. But if you came down from the shopping center yeah. along that footpath, yeah. Those guys would get down here and put their cars side by side and leave the headlights on and skate for hours. Wow. Yeah, all night long. It's oral history, exactly. Yeah. Which I mean, we do some. We did some research on it. Some people decide to go through uh, different like newspaper documents, and even the newspaper documents had had like contradicting information. This place was active 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and all kind of nonsense. A lot of beer drank down here. A lot of other stuff. But we knew where they were. They weren't out on the streets, right? You know, doing their thing. So the official opening, I guess, if you're going to break it down, was was 2001, when they had a grand reopening, when they brought the, the you know the uh, modular course in. The fence came up in 2000, and uh, it's been monitored by the by the county ever since. The county Rec Parks. I worked here from 01 to 06. Got to know a lot of old school skaters. Second oldest skate park in the country right now. When I worked here, I met people from Australia. Yeah. I met people from France, wow. Canada. Wow. So I was a world traveler and didn't have to leave. <laughs> this is a 70s style park, so it's nice and fast. I believe it's the oldest concrete bowl on the East Coast. Okay. Or at least one of the first ones. We just decided to have the birthday party for it this time of year, as opposed to the to the spring, because we knew in the we didn't know how much concrete construction had been done in the spring. Yeah. That's why we chose this date, fall as opposed to spring.